Hey Leo, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Share It. Today we're delving into what is the person on your mind hiding from you? All right, this can play out past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you. It's a timeless reading, so when you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you, okay? You can check out my playlist for additional collective reads. Personals are available. Link down below in the description box. And as always, thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings. It's all greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and delve into Leo's person. Shit, Leo. Y'all stuff popping out already. Look, this person, I want you to notice. It's the person on your mind. Lies, lies, lies. Sympathy. They are trying to get empathy from you. Okay, so this person is lying to you. They're trying to gain your empathy, right? It says superficial. They're all about the surface or appearance, not having much underneath. So this is somebody that's very superficial, okay? And it's like they want you to give them empathy, so they tell you lies, okay? It's like this person wants something else from you, though. Let's delve deeper. It's the person hiding. Hmm. It says, listen to your intuition. What you feel to be true is true, Leo. It's like, whatever, look, at this point, we're like, look, whatever the fuck you think, okay? That's what it is. Let me get one more. But Leo, what is Leo's person hiding? The person on their mind? What are they hiding? Hmm. I'm going to just show it, but we're going to pull something else. Here we got the professional engaging with a prostitute or stripper or some form of professional arrangement. Fuck it, we just gonna take it, okay? This person could be tricking off. We're gonna pull one more, though. I'll pull one more for you all so we can just um, clarify that real quick. For Leo's person, a person on their mind, what are they hiding? What's with this motel professional stripper person? Please and thank you. Okay, so physical abuse, whether it's hitting, grabbing, or shoving, it's time to get away. Ooh, something going on with this person. They could have gotten into an altercation with a stripper or with, like, you know, a sex trafficker or something like that. The bottom deck is they are engaging in some risky behavior. Be sure to protect yourself to be safe. It's questionable with this person. They're telling you lies. Your intuition is going off. You know, so whatever your intuition is telling you about this person, Leo, it's all of that. What they be saying, like, it's all that in a bag of chips. Yes. It's the whole meal at this point, okay? It's to the point where they're getting into it with strippers. Like, we even have the opportunist, the cheating. This cheating heart will have sex with anyone that is willing. See, I can't make this up. Lastly, we have artificial love. They don't really love you, just stringing you along. Lies, lies, lies. Come on, let's delve into their emotions. Okay, what's going on with this person? What are they thinking? The person that's hiding these things from Leo, what are they thinking? Mm. Melancholy. This person does feel bad about lying to you, you know. This person actually is haunted by this. Mm, this person could know, like, for some of you all, they could just know that you're intuitive. They could know, like, maybe you read cards. Maybe uh, you run a spiritual business. Um, maybe you delve in a cult or esoteric knowledge, you know. And it's like this person... They're in a head because they don't, you're probably very highly protected as well because it's like this person can't penetrate. Maybe they have someone else that reads cards or does something similar to you and they just cannot figure out what the fuck you're thinking or doing. You're like a mysterious, like a mystery to them. And, you know, this is that lord energy where this person is keeping up this persona that, you know, they look better or they're a lot better internally than they are really you know this person is somebody that is superficial okay they like a lot of material things they feel like that would um, make them feel better more confident you know but it's like you see through this person yeah with a priest here this person is trying to prove themselves to you or they're trying to 
prove that, um, you know, like they're changing or they're, they could be in a relationship. It's something like that. Yeah, with a friend here. Ooh. This person has a friend that they're dealing with. Yeah, lover. But they're like ser serenading you, like in your face. Wedding. Ooh, this person. Let me just get one more. Ooh, wife. Damn. It, the plot then thicken. This person is married to a karmic. That's what I see. But the wife in reverse? Come on now. This person is married. That's what they are hiding, Leo. Wow. Okay. Well, let's delve deeper. Let's throw some tears on it. I'm just saying trigger warning in my readings, okay? Because I don't need nobody, you know, feeling no type of way. But y'all know whatever comes out, comes out. We got to get that message across, right? Look, you asked for it. <laughs> So look, mm, with the emperor here, this could be somebody that runs their own business as an entrepreneur, okay? Masculine energy, okay? This person uses logic. They they have good organization skills as well. But if they tighten it up a little bit more, they'll be a lot more successful. This person may already be successful, but if they, this person is internet as hell. You see that, that world card right there and that sword? This person talks shit on the internet all day. They probably got multiple social media accounts. And you see, this is an angel, but at the same time, it's like this person is acting like they're an angel. They don't do nothing, this, that, and the next. Whole time, this person feeding you lies so much that they in a head about it, you know? Could be a fire sign or just have fire in a chart. This person is very passionate, okay? They could be like some type of creator, entrepreneur. They could do something different, you know? Here we have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is working hard. You, look, y'all, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This person works with a woman, a feminine energy, okay? For some of you all, is a lot of you all are women watching this video. Smash that like button if you're a woman and you're watching this video. But this person works with a woman too. Whatever their job is, it's like a creative job. You know, they create something, all right? And it was like a work relationship. They got together and now they still work together, you know? It says learning all you can about a subject or career. So it's like maybe they work good together, you know, but they got a pass. Or maybe they still deal with each other on and off. Yeah. Mentor, attention to detail, skill with the work that you love. Okay. They both have a passion to do the same exact thing, you know, that the business is run off of. But it's like only a matter of time this person feels like they're in their head because they know it's only a matter of time until your intuition gets to telling you what it really is. Ooh, with the Knight of Cups, this person is going to try to rush in and offer you something. Gift, give. It may come out that this person got into it with this person, right? Mm. Romantic flirtatious. Introspective. Fickle. This person was fickle with you a little bit at first. But then you're going to notice they just coming in and running hard. Why are they horse all dirty, though? You know, why they ain't got the proper equipment for their horse? You know, maybe this person is a little wild, but maybe they're a little irresponsible. Shit, maybe they got an older car, too. You know, this person's been drinking. When they come in, they've been drinking. They may just want to sleep with you right through the door or something. It's something like that. They could come, like, straight to you. You could see this person, like, right after they got done dealing with this third party, right? The bottom deck is the Knight of Wands. Shit, I'm telling you. I don't want to be like that, but this person's out. <laughs> Look, and there they go on that damn horse again. See, this person has two vehicles, too. Yeah, ooh-wee. Oh, y'all do not want to know what I just heard. See, that's why y'all got to... Um, I got this membership coming together on Patreon, and it's called the Boom Boom Room, you know, inspired by the movie Life, right? And there we could just talk about every fucking thing, you know? So if you like more uncut reads, if you like more uncut Zodiac reads, 
definitely check that out okay thanks for everybody and everybody's support but look this person they like group settings okay where everybody on the same thing like orgies okay be mindful okay this person get out with the magician card here mm -hmm. magic is alive in your life they like oh I can't believe how you're going to know who this person is on social media. They'll say something like, oh, my life is so crazy, but it's lit or, you know, it's something like that. OK, um, where this person low key brags about the crazy things that they do in their life. OK, on social media, man, part of the deck, we have the four of uh, swords looks like. Yeah, four swords. This person could be working on themselves, though. They could be trying to do, like, meditation, kind of get more spiritual. You know, I could see that. But look, with the Five of Swords, you just can't trust this mug, right? Once they get to drinking, once they get to partying, once they get to getting loose, like, pff, you could forget it. It says an unwise choice. Do I need to read more? Like... There's a better way that would make you happier. You know, it's like this person falls into toxicities, right? Uh, avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives, Leo. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify. What's going on, Spirit? Please and thank you. With the person on Leo's mind as what are they hiding from him? Please and thank you. Two of Cups? <sighs> Let me get more. Oh. Five of Pentacles. What's at the bottom? Mm, Queen of Cups. So look, you're coming in as this intuitive feminine, right? Um, you're a lot more cheerful, you know, than the person they are involved with in this, like, work relationship, you know? Um... This person really enjoys you, okay? And they will, like, this person going to get bitter if you cut them off, Leo. Look, they going to turn into the Grinch, like, because deep down inside, this person really enjoys you, like, more than you know. That's why they're over here with that melancholy. They, they salty, like, they're sad about lying to you because the moment you find this shit out you're not gonna deal with them no more this person could even be trying to space themselves away from the person they were dealing with on and off at work yeah with the nine of cups here you make this person really like come out and they feel like they could be like their creative self yeah with the nine of pentacles this person does love to shop they're definitely trying to make themselves single though like cut people off before you find the fuck out about them, the true them, okay? With the four wands here, this person could be thinking about marriage long term. Yeah, with the ten of cups here, could definitely want a family with you. For sure, I'm hearing like matriarch, like type of traditional type of family, you know, husband, wife type of thing, you know. I'm not judging you. You watching this and you're like, um, somebody here could be a cross watcher and they're like the same sex as this person. Okay, so I'm going to mind my business. But um, once again, this person is freeing themselves up in hopes that before you get to catching on to them, there will be then cleaned everything up. Yeah, with the chariot here, this person, mm, this person just wants to have fun with you. They really enjoy your company. Okay, but damn, with the three of pentacles here. Mm, they got an entourage. This person has an entourage. They're trying, they trying to be on some single shit with you. Look, they trying to be on some single shit with you. But then here go three bitches watching. <laughs> I cannot make this up, Leo. Like, you know, that's what it looks like because they're trying to come to you. Like, you know, like they ain't just smack a bit. No, I'm just like. <laughs> But it's something happened because it's some physical altercation that took place too with like a stripper or like a sex trafficker or something, you know. Look, the bottom deck is the empress. This person views you as the empress. They view you as worthy of them trying to change. Like this person really 
love you. Like they're coming in as the emperor and you're coming in as the empress. That's like a counterpart, okay? I feel like if the work, if this person can put in the work that's needed to step up and maintain an empress, then, hey, with the seven of wands here, mm, this empress is guarded though. I feel like you're protecting yourself. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands because you already don't trust you didn't already peep some shit Leo that's what I'm seeing or you will okay smash that like button if you already got an inkling you already peep some shit you won't like okay because we see it right here with the Knight of Wands that you mm, and with the hangman damn so you could be making you've already made a decision for swords you got to fall back from this person you could listen to Sade you could listen to Sade today right after this video just because I, you know, mentioned it. Maybe you haven't listened to Sade in a little bit. So if that's you, smash that like button. Um, it is an energy of no ordinary love, though. Somebody here works with your moja, your maya. If that's you, smash that like button. It's like you have that intuition, like your shit booming, like for real. And you could see right through shit, okay? And you've seen it, but you recognize this love as being different, though. You can tell with something different about this type of love with this person. That's what I'm seeing. So closing out this ring, moving forward for Leo. Let's see. Okay, I'll take these three. Okay, so this is moving forward. What to expect, you know, moving forward in this situation. Here we have accountability. So damn, this person may take accountability. It says responsibility is a gift of love your, to yourself and others. So it's like this person wants to do better because they realize that they really love you. Okay, distorted desire. Damn, this shit was right on point, huh? It's a conscientious desire rarely satisfies the unconscious need driving it. It's like this person is going within, really seeing the, it's like this person may have had some type of void here. They were trying to feel, and it's like they feel the different feeling with you too that you feel with them. Like you're feeling the same thing because you're like counterparts. That's what I see, damn. And the four of wands came out, so this may be your twin flame. Here we have false beliefs. Once the untruth that we believe about ourselves are illuminated, so are the ways we can release the false limitations that confined us to. See, that they confined us to. See, that's why this person, I'm telling you, they they finna rush in, Leo. I won't even lie to you. Look, and they, they want some you and them and leaving these other options in the past right? See, broken dreams. This person has been hurt before, okay? It says only you can accept or reject your dreams. It's like this person realizes that you're a, a dream fulfillment to them. They really felt a, like different with you. See, self-radical acceptance. You are perceived the way you perceive yourself. I feel like shit about to spice up, Leo. Um, what's really hidden is maybe you made somebody commit that doesn't usually commit, okay? Maybe you make them feel something that they haven't felt in a while and this person is going to act on it. Do they have a past? Hell yeah. Was they being sneaky? Hell yeah. You know, but I feel like this person is about to come prove themselves, okay? Prove themselves to be worthy. See, radical self-love. You're giving yourself this radical self-love because you're in this empress energy, whether you're a male or a female. You're giving yourself this self-love. It's like you're an old soul, Okay, you have this knowledge, right? Yamoja, right? Yamaya, that's knowledge, that's intuition, that's oh, that's that's very powerful, okay? Um, we can only receive love to the extent that we unconditionally love, live, wait, that we unconditionally love and live the truth of ourselves. As you begin to love yourself more and more, Leo, so too will this person love you, okay? That's what's hidden. If this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.